Top 10 Flight Attendant Secrets You Didn't Know Some passengers have no idea that flight attendants have hidden some alarming information relating to the state of their plane. Here are 10 tips flight attendants have for enjoying their flights. These tips would be sure to make your next flight an enjoyable one. Pay attention to fact number 10. Doing this, you actually insult air hostess. Number 1. If you accidentally smoked, use the ashtrays. In spite of the fact that smoking on board is strictly prohibited, there are ashtrays in the toilets. Yep, people do smoke despite the fines, and it's better they put cigarettes out in an ashtray rather than in a trash can. So if you suddenly find yourself in the lavatory with a cigarette in your hand, at least use the ashtray and then pay the fine. Number 2. Check the presence of a light vest before taking off. It's surprising, but it's still a fact. Some passengers steal life jackets from under their seats as a souvenir. I can't imagine how anyone could manage to steal such a huge thing and take it out of the cabin, but some travelers do it. By the way, don't follow their example, it might lead to a fine. So for safety reasons, always check your seat before the flight to make sure the life vest is there and not stolen by some sentimental kleptomaniac. Number three, you're allowed to ask for more food. Haven't you ever heard about it? Me neither. The food that's distributed on board an aircraft has a short shelf life, since it's delivered pre-made, all excess containers with food are immediately discarded after the flight. Sometimes these are eaten by the crew, therefore, if your stomach demands more, don't be ashamed to ask a flight attendant for another serving. Number four, don't be squeamish during the flight. Did you know that most airlines only do a superficial cleanup after the flight? Blankets and pillows aren't washed just refolded, food trays aren't washed. The seat trays are wiped, the carpets are cleaned, but you cannot be sure there wasn't a passenger in your seat who suddenly felt sick. So it's better to use your own pillows or blankets. Also, don't be paranoid about cleanliness during the flight. Calm down, all these bacteria won't kill you at once. Number 5. The lavatory door can be opened from the outside. Flight attendants have their keys in case a passenger is locked in the lavatory. Also, many aircraft have the door lock mechanism itself installed under the no smoking sign on the toilet door. If you raise the flap with the cigarette image and turn the bolt, the door will open. Number six, be the last person to board. If you and your fellow traveler checked in at a different time, there's a solution, just board last. When all the passengers take their seats, you can immediately see which seats are free. Also, the fact that the door has already been closed behind you and there will be no more passengers gives you the opportunity to get any empty seat on board. Number seven, avoid too much alcohol. Flight attendants sworn that one glass in the sky is equal to two on the ground. And it's true since altitude affects blood in such a way that alcohol during a flight affects you much more than on the ground. So even if you drink because you're afraid to fly, you risk becoming too relaxed. Number eight, avoid the bulkhead seats. Remember this rule, if there are passengers with babies on board, they'll most likely take the bulkhead seats. This happens because it's easier and safer to place a baby carrier there. So if you love cute screaming neighbors, you know which seats to choose. Number nine, drink only bottled water. The problem of filthy water on board aircraft has gained a lot of attention since the scandalous study of the Wall Street Journal in 2002. The number of bacteria and water samples from 14 of the most popular airlines was hundreds of times higher than the established standard. Today's situation hasn't changed a lot, so it's better to drink only bottled liquids on board. You should avoid tea, coffee, and water from the sink. Number 10. Don't applaud at the end of the flight. In some countries, passengers give ardent applause to the pilot for landing right on the airstrip. Perhaps people are trying to express gratitude to the crew or the joy of coming back home, but the crew may consider this gesture insulting. The flight is not a roulette game, this is their job. People who travel a lot know this and don't clap as much. Do you know other tips for the best flight? Share them in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button and click subscribe to stay on the deep side of life.